Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? I thought I was recording, I was recording for like 10 minutes and I realized I wasn't, that's what happens when you film late. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, it really does help my channel. If you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face, or you've seen my face, but you've never subscribed before, definitely make sure you subscribe so you can stick around and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video. Like you can see in the title, today we'll be doing a boots and outerwear try on haul. I have had no use for boots and outerwear, coats, jackets, living in the Virgin Islands. But now that I'm back on the mainland, it's time to be cute and get popping. So I'm really excited, so let's get into it. One last thing, I have linked everything in the description box for you to check out. If you're interested in anything that I mentioned today, you're like, yes, I need it. Click the link in the description box. It really does help my channel. It doesn't cost you an extra dime, but it does keep this channel going, and I will love you forever. I actually tried buying a bunch of boots. I tried buying boots from Torrid and Lane Bryant, but none of them worked. I think I bought like seven or eight pairs from them. Maybe that's, that's OD. Maybe like six or seven, and none of them worked. They were either too narrow because I have double wide feet. Or the calves were not wide enough to fit my double wide calves, my super wide calves. My calves are about a 23 or 23.5. I will leave the exact circumference of my calves in the video for those of you who need those measurements to figure out if these boots are going to work for you. So that's that. So the first pair and all of the boots actually ended up being from Avenue. I tried like 9 or 10 pairs from Avenue and these are the only ones that worked. I mean it's been a struggle. It's not a struggle that you'll see on camera, but trust me, behind the scenes, Sis has been working to find some fashionable boots for the season. So these are fashion boots, these are not snow boots. They're not going to hold up in the snow, they don't have much grip. I've already worn these, I wore these yesterday to lunch. They're not snow boots, they're sturdy, but they're not going to survive snow. They're not gonna survive if you walk two miles a day, every day. They're not gonna last probably multiple seasons, but they're also like $40, so you have to adjust your expectations. These are boots I'm going to wear like once a week, twice a week for the season. And I think they probably will last multiple seasons, but not with heavy wear, if that makes sense. They're not tie high, but they go to just below the knee as well on my on my leg. For those for somebody else, it may go up higher, lower. It just depends. And they're just super duper cute. I will have close-up shots. It does have like the kind of peekaboo in the back, which I really like about them. Um, it's nice brown, looks good with almost anything. I don't know if these will be great for wearing them over jeans. I haven't tried wearing them over jeans. I could see that being a struggle because I definitely have to kind of, you know, take my time and work my way up my leg because I have chunky calves and they've gotten chunkier as I've gained weight because of COVID. So either way, love them. So happy to have them. And I also have them in another color. So I have the black pair, which I haven't worn yet, but it's the exact same style. Nothing fancy, looks the exact same, fits the exact same. None of them are tighter than the other. Um, the brown ones wearing them yesterday, they were comfortable. I feel like I could walk in them. I'm not walking away for hours. I feel like I could leisurely go around town, do lunch, go to the mall in them, and I didn't feel like I would have issues, which is which is actually really rare. Because I have white feet, I usually have to stretch shoes, so it takes a few uses for them to be comfortable, but these are actually comfortable. So yeah, I'm happy with them. And they have like the, I didn't say about the last ones, but the same thing, they have the elastic in the back, which gives it a lot more stretch for big calves. Um, my calf size, I probably like a half inch maybe, is the most these will go up. I think these will go up max 24 inches. If your if you're, uh, calves are bigger than that, I don't think they'll work. The good thing is the Avenue has a great return policy. You literally can return to a lot of places. All you gotta do is go on their website click on returns and they can tell you where in your city you can return it. Even if there's not an avenue 
in your city, you can return it to a lot of places you wouldn't expect. Like, I returned it to a random, like, discount store. And my money has already been returned to my account. So, don't worry if there's no avenue in your area. Returns are actually really easy. So, I wanted to say that. Anyway, let's move on. And lastly, I got some ankle boots. Ankle boots are just cute. They look good with jeans, dresses, skirts. Ankle boots is actually one of my favorite styles. I just found that they look good on me because my legs are short, so I find that they work well. So I got these in the color black. I also got them in brown. I'll show you in a second. They're nothing fancy about them. They're not stylish. There's no gold, bedazzled, anything. They're just really simple shoes, but they work. There's elastic right here. So if you have a fat ankle like I do, they work really well, easy to zip up. I don't have any issues with them. I think they work well. And I'm wearing a size 11 in all of them. I wear anywhere from a 10 to 11 because it's boots and you're gonna wear socks and stuff. I definitely got the 11 and happy with that I also got them in brown and I love the brown just brown boots just do it for me I just love brown boots it's my thing so got these brown boots as well super duper simple just like the other ones the exact same boot like the other ones they don't have much grip so don't go trying to walk in these in snow and ice you're gonna bust your butt <laughs> But you're gonna look good doing it. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to coats and jacket slash outerwear. Let's do it. So this is the first coat. This is an oversized trench. Full disclosure, I love a baggy throw on with some jeans, throw on some sneakers or boots, like no hassle trench. I know this isn't everyone's style, but I love this style on me. I just think it's super cute. Like with this crop top and jeans, like this is a look. All I gotta do is put on my boots and I'm ready to go. Like this is a vibe. I got this in a size 20. I ordered the 22, but it was super big. So I returned it and got a 20. So if you are my size, 22, 24, you feel free to size down unless you want a super oversized look and that's not what I'm going for because this is just like oversized but still frames my body while the 22 I feel like I was swallowing in it it does close it can fully close but I don't like closing my jackets anyway I feel like it makes me look a little frumpy so it does close so even in the winter, I don't, usually I don't even close my coats. So like I said, it does close. But like to me, like, that's not cute. But open up is really cute. I usually will just like layer my coats with sweaters, wear scarves. I like my coats open. That is my personal preference and has always been. Unless it's like so super cold, you know? But yeah, nice oversized trench, nice and cute. I like this kind of... I'm just chilling style. It is lined in the inside. Love the color, love the style. Like, it's a vibe. And I think right now, this coat is like $30 or something. So super affordable. But yeah, this is, this is she, this is her. This is my thing, love this. Oh, this is fire. So this is a coat from Shein. I literally hauled this coat in another color in a previous haul. But I will show it to you again. But if you want to see my previous haul, like my previous fall fashion haul, definitely click right here. I got this in a brown, which you'll see in a second because I want people don't all watch the same videos. But anyway, I love the brown so much. I got the mauve. And there's like two other colors and I'm so tempted to get all of them because I love this coat so this is definitely a light fall coat if it gets colder you definitely have to layer it I am very warm natured so this is enough for me but I don't think this is enough for anybody like this is not gonna protect you in a blizzard is what I said in the other video and I still stand by that but it is Fire. The color is giving. Sis, hello. <laughs> I mean, I love it. You can always change the buttons out if you want to be really fancy. Imagine if I put some like cream 
and gold buttons on this like it would be fire right like ain't nothing much to say the only and it does have pockets for those of you who love pockets it does have pockets love that for us we give you a full 360 love it like this color is just life life you need it you need you need it you do you do this is the brown i know <laughs> buyer like this color <sighs> oh like just so good like i just look like a beautiful hershey bar hello you want to recess pieces <laughs> So cute y'all so gorgeous so gorgeous <laughs> it's the exact same coat just a different color um I do wish that the coat tapered a little bit more but that's nitpicky cuz it's fire what's a clothing haul without a leather jacket funny story I actually picked this up from Macy's initially for like $90 almost a hundred dollars but I was just searching on Amazon one day randomly or something like that and this came up and it was $50 for the exact same Levi's jacket $40 cheaper shop around sis shop around and that's why you have me so good so good now this is a type of jacket where I feel like the others I could wear a sweater with it this is tight in my arms I have really big arms I have cornbread catfish making arms okay southern arms so it's really hard for, to find sleeves that really fit so bear that in mind this is not something I personally could wear with a sweater I would have to wear like a lighter fabric or shirt with it because it's kind of tight in my arms which happens with every leather jacket I've ever owned that's just what happens when you have big arms. But the arms do fit. It just can't fit with heavy fabrics underneath. And either way, it's fire. <laughs> like, this little outfit I threw on looks good with everything. Which is the point. Um, it has a nice little details here. It can button and zip. I just, like I said, I prefer to keep everything open. That's kind of like my aesthetic. But you can zip it up. There's also a little belt here. I would never put that on. It's actually a jacket that I feel comfortable zipping up because of where it sits. Like it hits me at the waist so my body isn't lost in it compared to longer coats where if I button it up I look real boxy because of my shape. Well this just hits right at the waist so it looks good you know zipped up. So yeah. Just fire y'all. Just I love a leather jacket. Always have. Always will. And it's just a vibe. So cute. So cute. Ow! Alright, so this is the first coat. It's a beautiful color. It's the kind of the waterfall style, I think it's called. Um, I don't hate this. But I definitely feel like maybe it's too big. Something about it looks kind of frumpy. I think maybe it's too, I think that's what it is. I think it's actually a bit too big. I think I need to size down in it and maybe I will. Y'all definitely let me know. Should I keep, I'm definitely not keeping it because I feel like it's too big. But should I size down and get a smaller size or are you not feeling it? What do y'all think? I don't know. I don't hate it. I think it's cute. I like the color. I think it'll look good on somebody. And that's why I wanted to include it in the video. Maybe it's not necessarily my style. But it's going to be somebody's style. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I showed it to y'all. Definitely let me know what y'all think down below. I mean it's cute. But maybe just not for me. Yeah, it's really cute. I love the color. The color just looks really good, I think. But yeah. 
let's move on to the next coat now this is fly and this is actually warm like it's lying on the inside and it's heavy like this is giving quality there are pockets but I'm not sure if they're functional or they're just for style a double breasted coat that just fits like a dream is a dream I got this in a four three X all the coats from Target are 3X, I'm pretty sure. But it will be on the screen. I only buttoned the, the middle one, just to give y'all an idea. But look at this, like the length is perfect. It's not too long, it's not too short, where it looks childish, it's not too long where it's, you know, it looks like it's overpowering on me, you know? It's just perfect, like, it's just nice. I really do like it. I really do. And it's affordable. Like Target, Target stuff is really super affordable. Like this is a vibe. I love this coat. I love this coat. <laughs> I guess the only thing I wish it had was pockets and then a tie around the waist just to cinch my waist a little bit. You know, sometimes they come with like um waist things. I'm lying because then I literally don't use them when I I can have I have a coat with it. And I never use that. So I'm lying. <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, this is, oh, this is so fly. This is the last coat. When I saw this on the website, I fell in love with it. But seeing it on, mm, I don't know. It does have functional pockets, so that's fire. I actually really like the color. Um, it looked more khaki online, but in person it's more like a golden yellow. But I don't mind that. Um, I don't know. It is on the thinner side. So I feel like this was probably better for October than it is November. But if you live in like Florida, then this is perfect. Or somewhere that doesn't get really cold like New Jersey does. Um, you know sometimes here has like warmer days like 60. This is a 60 jacket, maybe a 55. I don't know if it's an under 55 jacket. It depends on your temperament. Um, let me see. I don't know what I don't like about it. Okay, I think I think the issue is that it's too big. So, yeah, that's the issue. It's too big. And I'm pretty sure that there's no smaller size. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's definitely, like, too big here. But it's not, like, yeah. See, it's, like, all this extra fabric. It's actually not bad. I'm going to see if they have a smaller size. I got this, I'm pretty sure, in a 3X. So I'll see if they have a 2X. Because it's really not bad. Let me know what y'all think. Definitely let me know what y'all think. Like, that detailing in the back is actually really cute. Yeah, this could be really fire. It's just too big on me I think yeah I think that's what it is but overall I have gotten a few coats I definitely have a coat already and with these coats that I'm gonna keep which is all of them besides these the two from Target I have enough for the season I have more coats than a lot of people do so I think I'm good um, let me know where you get your coats from. Let me know what you thought about this haul. Let me know if you're going to pick anything up. We'd we'll love to know that down below. Yeah, looking at this with this green. This green just worked with everything, huh? And I will link this. This is actually a top of a loungewear set that I got from Boohoo. I will link it, but yeah. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.